Good afternoon, everybody. About 4 o'clock, September 6th. Another hot one today, but I hopefully think that this is the last of the hot ones for the summer. We'll see. Back over to do some more work on the bonnet here. Probably going to concentrate, continuing to concentrate on cleaning everything up. Still in preparation for getting epoxy primer on it. A lot of Heimer and Dolly work the last couple days. But otherwise, it might not be a very exciting visit this evening. And may lend itself more to doing two videos, one today and one over the weekend when I'm over here. But we'll see how it goes. Passenger side bonnet here. Definitely the worst side of the damage. So I have a little theory. My theory is and the reason this had cracks. You had a crack here. You had these two cracks here. I also had a crack in it um, up towards the front of the bonnet or the back, I should say, of the bonnet, but on this side, if you remember that. So my guess is that whoever owned the car would get out of the car to, to raise the bonnet would pop the bonnet clip on the driver's side, because that's the side he got out of the car on, walk around, pop the clip over here, <clears throat> and lift the bonnet by the clip. This, when I say the clip, the bonnet clip, I mean the, the handle that would go in here, causing stress cracks here, a stress crack here. Welding that up, and possibly the stress cracks, what that's resulted in now, is I've got oil canning. Now on the other side, if I try to do the same thing, and this is probably off camera, but you got to trust me, I'm pushing on that side of the panel and I'm not getting any oil canning. So I know it's not a design thing that, you know, designed oil canning probably wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, but you can see that I've started to use a block, a sanding block here, and just try to take the high spots off. So you can see that the, it's in pretty bad shape here. Uh, this hole needs to come out here, but right here, you can see I'm starting to come through on the primer a little bit. Right about there is where my really high spots are. Um, it's a pretty good low spot right there. That looks like a dent because on the other side, it's a pretty dramatic, uh, shiny part. So, the uh, couple ways to remove oil canning, a couple of them involve heat. Another way to do it is use the slapping spoon or the dinging spoon, which is what I'm going to try. So I got the dinging spoon here, and this is the, the Miller one. So what I'm going to do with this is hopefully hold the dolly behind this, and much like I had done with the door and showed you the door, just apply some pressure back here, but I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to stretch this metal. That's the problem. Why do I want to try to shrink that up? So I am going to do kind of off dolly a little bit and try to do that and just generally work this piece of metal. This will definitely be the first time I've been trying to do this, so who knows if it's going to work. Use the uh, this dolly here, the uh, essentially the tow dolly. Let's just see what happens. So right about here or so is probably the center of the of where I could oil can it. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. I'm not going to work these dents at all because it's not really worth it. My idea is once I shrink this high spot out and get the oil canning out of here, then I can work the dents properly. Uh, but if I worked them now, I'd just be wasting my time and I would chase this canning all over the place. I think that's uh, at least it makes sense in my head. All right, I think I'm going to change my approach a little bit. Like I said, another method you can do is use a shrinking disc. So I think what I might do, take the shrinking disc, try to take this high spot out here, and I'm hoping taking that high spot out, shrinking it a little bit, will tend to suck this metal in and bring up that low spot, kind of even that out. I'm not sure if that'll work or not. But again, because I'm going to use a shrinking disc, I'm going to take out all this paint. So it's going to take a little bit. I'll come back. Got the paint off, got the block sander on it. You can see this high spot right here. Anywhere where you see it, especially shiny, that's your high spots. Gonna push in there, that obviously oil cans. I think uh, that's about right where the center is. So again, what I hope happens is I'll take this, I'll heat this up, then I'll shrink it and it'll tend to grab this metal from out here and pull it this way. Now I don't expect it 
to take this den out, that'd be, that'd be cool, but I don't expect that to happen. But I'm going to heat this area up right here. I got a quench rag ready to go, and we'll see what, see what happens. Four and a half inch grinder with a shrinking disc on it, a little stainless steel shrinking disc. And again, I'm going to hit it right here, heat this guy up. All right, probably could see that steam come off. Let's see. All right, well, last time, here we go. Let's see if this works. Last time I would push right in here and shrink. Now it seems like the, the center of the oil can has kind of moved down here a little bit. So um, I'm not, I don't intend to chase this thing all over the place. I'm only gonna try a couple times, but we'll see if I can kind of get lucky. I don't know if you saw that when I got that, that popped in when I was heating it up. Big old dent in it now, what I can feel. But, that's amazing. Take the little can right out. So in doing so, however, big old divot in here now. But you can see, they're more poppy poppy. So obviously that's the way to go for that specific instance in this particular case where I got lucky. So I would not necessarily recommend that this is the approach that you use no matter where you're at or whatever to take care of your oil canning. Beginner's luck maybe, but it worked for me. So I'll hit this with a block here. Dry it off real quick. Hit it with a block, see what it looks like. All right, pretty cleaned up. Again, oil cane is gone. Still got a low spot here. And you can see, actually, there's just a little bit of oil canning in here. You can just barely see that. So that's, I can work that from the back, fortunately. So I'm probably going to do that. Got a big old dent here, but that's pretty tough, so that'll require to be worked but I do have a little bit of oil cannon right here. But now this is a low spot. So I don't want to hit this with heat on the low spot. I want to hit it with heat on the other side. It shouldn't really matter, but six one way half another another, right? But to be consistent, I'll hit it with heat on this side. I don't know how well you can see that. I guess you can see the shadow moving around. So I'll go and clean up the paint on the inside. Hit that real quick. That's a pretty light oil can. Let's see if I can get lucky again. So I'll go off to clean that up and come at you here in a minute. So I removed the paint from the back side and okay, it came back. That's all right. So I'm just going to use the same approach again. I'll heat this up on the inside here. I'll, uh, I'll move the camera around so you can see it and heat that with the shrinking disc using the same method I did. I just wanted to show you that the oil candy came back when I applied a little bit of heat to get the, uh, the paint on. Right, my lighting's not the best here, I apologize for that, but this is where I ground off the paint. So, um, I can feel the low spot on this side, which means I'm about a high spot right here. So again, same, same general method. Take the shrinking disc, hit it right here, get it quenched, go from there. And you notice I didn't do it very long that time. I assume the amount of heat you put in will result, hopefully be directly proportional to how much shrinking you get. But I don't really need a whole lot. So I didn't want to go overboard. Yep, no more popping. That's pretty cool. 
All right, so now what I will do is go eat. And then I'll try to start working some hammer and dolly in here. And what I suspect may happen is I'll get my old can back, but I'll just work it and continue to shrink until I get it out. But that's uh, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly successful. Happy with that. You may be wondering why I'm doing some of this body work now, which I did not do, or a lot of it I did not do on the boot lid or on the doors. Main reason is just because I don't want to bang on the epoxy when I get the epoxy on. So I'm going to try to take care of the major body work, the heavy duty dents and stuff like that. Not the little dings necessarily, but the, the heavy duty stuff where I'm afraid that I really mess up a large area of epoxy in an attempt to repair it. Like this where I had to take off a big, you know, square foot of paint. I want to get that stuff fixed, at least attempt to get it fixed so that I minimize the impact on the epoxy primer. Down here, I think you can see a low spot pretty big low spot up in here and there's some high spots in here so I'm going to start hammering and dollying it I think I'll start with this guy down here just because it's it's the biggest one that I got in there I think but this whole area is in pretty bad shape pretty ripply so I'll start down here start to bang this guy out a little bit Again, the, the camera doesn't really do it justice. Do it justice. It's kind of hard to see, but no oil canning, which was the whole point of me starting. Real happy about that. The other side, I don't have that problem. I may have other oil canning issues around here, but uh, but real happy with the way that came out. So I'm going to continue cleaning. Again, not boring you with the cleaning thing because it's not exciting. But uh, moving on. All right, about 20 after seven. Knocking off a little bit early tonight. Got. Uh, Essentially, the passenger's half of the bonnet in, in halfway decent shape. Found another dent that I worked on for a little bit. You can pretty clearly see the highs and low spots there. Still some work to do. Really need that long reach hammer. Um, got this oil canning all out of here. I'm really happy with the way that came out. And then essentially prepped and tried to clean up as best as I could underneath here. A lot of that white residue that you see is the rust converter stuff. And... Um, yeah, so that's about it. Still some work to do in here, but not as much as on the other side, which will be um, painful, but necessary, of course. So that'll be it for me for this evening. Today on Sunday, my local car club, the Connecticut Triumph Register, is holding a car show up uh, in Manchester, Connecticut, I think. And I volunteered to, to help. Uh, I think I'm selling raffle tickets or something for that, so I'm looking forward to that. And otherwise, that's it for me. So you have a good rest of your week. Tomorrow's Friday. Hoo yeah, four day. Best thing about a three day weekend is a four day work week. Hopefully, everybody's is, is gone pretty quickly. And uh, thanks for liking, thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. See you this weekend. Cheers.